I'm currently standing in Sonderburg a day before the uh, IEA conference is starting. And Sonderburg is a very, very good role model for the world. It's a city which is going to be CO2 neutral by 2029 and hopefully a little bit earlier. But just to zoom in on another case, which is Norhaun, a new quarter in Copenhagen, which is also a big factor why Copenhagen can be CO2 neutral by 2030. I think Energy Lab Norhaun is really a cool thing. It's uh, the first time that I can remember that a complete a quarter of a city has been built using the most modern technology we can apply today. And it's a combination of uh, using renewable energy, um, combining uh, modern transport means, uh, heating, cooling, and reusing all the energy we are bringing into that quarter again as much as possible. It's the combination of the different stakeholders, the investors, uh, the public sector, uh, the technology sector or the private sector. And if all work together in a coordinated good way, coordinated by a good project manager, we can apply the solutions we have already today in order to create a nearly or actually zero carbon uh, uh, living area uh, and business area for all the people. And it will help Copenhagen to uh, fulfill their targets in becoming CO2 neutral. I believe there is a lot of things which we can learn from uh, Energy Lab know-how. Uh, it's the combination of renewable energy produced, of course, in a sustainable way by mostly wind and solar energy, by heat pumps distributing and creating that heat, by a supermarket, uh, as an example, uh, using the waste heat from the cooling system, distributing it into the buildings and overall controlling it uh, the right way so we at all the time know what can be produced, what will be consumed. And this combination of the three sectors uh, is actually the trick here. It will help Copenhagen to reach their uh, CO2 neutrality target by 2030 and there is absolutely no reason why this cannot be reproduced in other cities of the world, also in a more retro way that we are not building everything new like in Norham.